Here's how you'll know it's the right time to buy a car. Price benchmarks from 2019. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? The Amazing Elizabeth is here to my right. You have arrived at the home of super high intensity training for car buyers. And today, we're giving you a simple roadmap and three great benchmark examples you can use to know when car prices are finally in line. That's a pretty awesome deal, isn't it, Liz? Everybody wants to know. You just market shop these three examples and boom, you know exactly if car prices are right or not yet. Simple as that. As our followers know, the Homework Guy channel prepares car buyers with homework and research to do before the sale. If you're new here, you need to know that there are tons of videos on this channel covering car buying strategies and every training tool a car buyer needs when it comes to paying for a car with cash or how to avoid contract fraud at the car dealership. If you're not already one of the hundreds of thousands of subscribers, you're going to want to join us now and so hit that notification bell so you never get hosed on a car deal again. The Homework Guy is the best car buying show you can find online. Well, she's got that right. All right. Let's jump right in. As we just mentioned days ago, car prices have finally topped out, but it's gonna take a while before they fall back in line with where they were a year or two ago. As you know, we've been recommending that you sit out of the market for as long as you can, and some of you have no intention of getting back until prices are back where they should be, and that's smart thinking. We're talking about prices that are more in line with where things were at in 2019 before all this market manipulation nonsense and every lovely thing that goes with it started happening. We have three great examples to share with you that come from a time when car prices were actually normal. <laughs> so if you want to know if prices are right yet, all you have to do is come back and watch this video again, and you'll have no trouble zeroing in on where the market is at. So to know when car prices are back in line, you need to have a benchmark. Right. You have to know what prices were for similar vehicles a year or two ago, and then you'll be able to project where those prices should be now. When the current market is in alignment with where the projections are, then you know if car prices are back to normal. It's that easy. Admittedly, it can be pretty impossible to find vehicle prices from a year or two ago because dealers are so good at hiding that past information. They don't want you to know what prices were. Of course not. However, some of it was hiding right in plain sight and we got our hands on it. So we're sharing three different brands of vehicles and their prices from 2019 to early 2020 car buying season and comparing them to similar vehicles and their prices right now in the market. You'll see just how much dealers have fattened up those prices. All right, let's get started. We have a 2015 Ford Explorer XLT. This is in the San Antonio, Texas market. This video clip you're seeing is from early 2020 before all the pricing games started. This vehicle has 93,590 miles on it and was selling early last year for 15,000. Remember that. Here we are a little more than a year later in the same vehicle, almost five years old, a 2016 Ford Explorer XLT, 89,000 miles, 702 on it. This is what you call a dead on apples to apples comparison. This vehicle is priced right now at 21.9. That's a $6,900 increase or a 46% price hike. When you can shop a 2016 Ford Explorer XLT with 90,000 miles on it and the price is around 15,000, you'll know that car prices are finally back to normal. So use this method to track the market. That was awesome, Liz. Right. Okay, staying in the San Antonio market, here is a 2018 Kia Optima LX, 35,928 miles on it. It was being sold in the fall of 2019 for $14,000. Here we are a year and a half later in the same 2018 Kia Optima LX, a different vehicle with very similar miles, 34,921, and is now a year older, I might add, right. and should be more in the 13,500 range if the markets were normal. Well, this car is priced in the San Antonio market at 17,500. There are others that are priced closer to 20,000 in the same market. One of our viewers noticed this and sent us a message on it. Miguel writes, I was looking at a 2018 Optima LX granite brown with 36,000 miles and it's $20,000 right now. Oops. So guess what? He got on YouTube to find a review video and saw the same dealership, exact same dealership with a YouTube video in 2019 of the same car with 34,000 miles on it. Well, it was $14,000. Crazy wow. times, man. <clears throat> well, Miguel, you got it right. If the markets weren't in the mess they're in, the car would be selling for thirteen five, dollars not $20,000. That's a price hike of $6,500 or a 48% price increase. No way is a used Kia worth that kind of money and only a <laughs> fool would pay it. That's going to crash if you pay that money and you'll lose your shirt on that deal. So here's the second benchmark you should use. Search a 2018 Kia Optima LX 
with around 36,000 miles, when you notice that that car is selling at dealers for around 13.5, well, that's when you know the market is finally back on track. Hey, nice job on doing your homework, Miguel. Okay, here's the third benchmark vehicle staying in the San Antonio market, so the playing field's level. Here's a 2018 Mazda CX-9 Touring with 28,600 miles on it. It was selling in the fall of 2019 for 24,000. In the same market for the sale right now is a similar 2018 Mazda CX-9 Touring, 36,000 miles, so it's very close. The dealer has it listed at a whopping 31.5. Since that vehicle is more than a year old when it was listed in 2019, we're subtracting $1,000 in market value to do an apples to apples comparison. And that's what you do when it's a year older and it's that new, yeah. subtract a thousand bucks from the vehicle. And adjusting the fair market value to 23,000 if it were selling today under the fair market conditions. Instead, they have it listed at 31.5. So it's a price hike of $8,500 or 37% increase. Great job. Now let's repopulate the screen with our three examples. Here's the 2015 Ford Explorer XLT 95,000 miles, it should be selling at 15,000. The 2018 Kia Optima LX, 36,000 miles, should be selling at 13.5. And the 2018 Mazda CX-9 Touring, 30,000 miles, should be selling at 23,000. Write that stuff down, you guys, because those three vehicles you should be using to shop the market. And when you find that dealers have them listed at prices much higher, that's how you know the market is not back where it belongs. So how far off is the market right now? The 2015 Ford Explorer XLT is 6,900 too high. 2018 Kia Optima LX is 6,500 too high. And the 2018 Mazda CX-9 Touring is 8,500 too high. The examples put the market almost 43% higher than it should be. The question is, as the market writes itself, how much over the right price are you willing to pay? Do you want to buy when it's still 30% too high or 20% too high or 10% too high? You know, with a little bit of time, those numbers keep going down. Or are you going to wait until it's back on track? That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Whatever your goals are, you can use the benchmarks we provided you with. Benchmarks that are based on real prices posted by real dealers on the dates we stated. Benchmarks are a big deal. And thanks to Kevin because he did all the research on this one. So you got the data that you need. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep you up to date as the market shifts. And we'll be tracking our benchmark cars right along with you to help you stay on top of how quickly dealers are moving the prices down where they should be. If you have to buy a car before the market is back on track, well, be diligent with your homework. Make sure you binge watch all the videos here on this channel before you car shop so you're sharp on all the important stuff. And then we wish you a ton of luck if you decide to buy a car. Now, if you use these benchmarks that we gave you a year from now, just subtract $500 from the value of the car to adjust for its increased age. If you appreciate this video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy and look for us on any of your favorite social media platforms out there. There's a list of options appearing on the screen now and they're linked in the description box below. And if you're new here, as Kevin mentioned, make sure you check out all the other videos that we have. We've reached over 45 million people now and you might as well benefit from our great content too. That's right. And if you love what we do and want to contribute with a tip, well, the PayPal and Cash App links that you see here will be easy to find in that description box down below or on our website. But no problem if you can't do a tip. The best way to help us out is to share this video with family and friends so they can get just as lucky as you. Encourage everyone to subscribe and ring that notification bell too so you don't miss a thing. The entire Homework Guy team is here to represent the car buyer and that's what we do. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter with the amazing Elizabeth. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.